<laughs> ah. Hello, I am the man professor, and it's a very long time since I've been in my Minecraft world. I wonder what can I show you that is new? Well, I can show you one thing that is new. Well, first thing, I do not have the egg that I obtained last time, you know, for a very, very, very long time ago. Although I can show you a change I've done to a fellow creature of mine. And, hello, Poisonous Fang, how are you doing? I am doing fine. Ah, that is good, yeah. So, what I have done for change is this. Cool, huh? You have to agree, this is cool. Or comment in the section below what you think. And I will read it. Also, if you wonder what has happened to you, well, anyway. Uh, wait, Podic, the Insaninator oh, version 2.0 or Hero Band. Hmm? Yes, I called that Hero Band because it's ice. I made it, I, it looked like Hero Band. You know, this famous uh, creepypasta Sky, uh, Minecraft character. Anyway, one huge difference I'm going to show you. Damn it, I forgot to open that up. It's actually Eddie in the U in the, all my World War II campaigns. You know how uh, at least half of the units had uh, like uh, hats, like had uh, more officer-like hats. Well, I changed my mind on that, so, well, I'm going to show you. Now, if I come down here, for example, also, one other change I've done is I've now changed the, the rank, so now there are no Waffenesses here. As you can see here, both of these have now helmets because they are lower ranks. The only one that does have a Feldmutze is uh, Wolfhagen Fürstenberg. Oh wait, that was actually the one guy, guy I wanted to give him. Give. It is actually this guy I want. Wait, I'm going to do one change. Oh wait, actually, the change I could do is actually this. I should probably also do this while I'm at it. There we go. So, that is one thing I've now changed. Think it like this when you... That uh, the one who's wearing the Felmutze is actually a higher ranked person who is a leader. Anyway, now it got in here. Oh, that, there's a machine gun. I wonder where it was. So now we have the same thing here. Also, I actually changed the clothes here. Now they have German men ones. So we have, and here we have Friedrich Müller that is wearing the M34 Felmütze. But I haven't done that just here. I've done it with all, so I'm going to take you to the other bases in all of my World War II time periods and show you. I actually wonder, should I make more World War II time periods? Because I could do one with different... What the, the fuck was that? Now it's lagging really badly. Now we have this guy who is wearing the helmet. It's Henry Drake. Here we have Major James Killian, he still has that one. Also, I changed the rank of line Livingstone. Now he is a corporal. And we also have Jon Archer. Then we are flying over here towards the Russian base. Or more like the Soviet base. So now we have only Le Yuri Aksakov that is wearing a Budinovka cap. Shudo Nikolai L. 
first shot. And Nikita Rasputin, he had uh, that kind of cap before. Now he does not. You could think like this, that these are like higher ranked people. Like, if you played this on multiplayer and this, if I made this map in the multiplayer, if I made these time periods in the multiplayer world, you could uh, fight as them and you will be actually well, a little bit. Uh, as you, you can see here, I want to make a change to the flags. Before it was Waffen-SS flags, now there are different flags. Also, I change my little, uh, yes, my little machine here. Now I'm going to take you to, uh, so you can see Pacific campaign. However, here's actually a different, huge difference. See Japanese here, I, uh, here I have not changed anything. Because even though they do have uh, Hachimakis, they would still be, be uh, different ranks. They could vary in rank. They could be low ranked, high ranked, and now it's lagging. Being mid ranked. However, I change the Americans. If I go in here and open up, here you have normal helmet, and it is John Smith. Yeah, here you have Tommy Thompson. Yeah, I changed that name because I love it. Yeah, it still has a normal helmet. Then we have Brian John Stone. No more helmet. And then the one who has the issue guys on cap, Jack Panovic. And now I'm gonna go go here. Actually I do think I know who has the headwear here. Yeah it is J Ireland and Will William Jefferson still has his helmet, so does George Remington and Mark Fisher. I have no idea why I named him Mark Fisher. I don't know where I even get that got that name from. Where could I have possibly got that splinter cell? And because I know the character's name there is Sam Fisher. However, Mark Fisher is not a spy in this world. He's just a soldier. The fight for the United Kingdom. Now I'm gonna show you African campaign. Now, here is actually one huge difference I've done. And you see, since here they Einheit Felmütze is in both, both of the bunkers. I'm going to have actually decided to give them a one, the one that wields a rifle here. Okay, now these are wrong. We have Gotthard Deutsch and Sigmund Daring. They still have their German helmets. Here we have Erwin Foreman. It's actually a reference to a famous. Uh, Tank officer from World War II Germany. His name was Ermin Woman, and he still has his Dr. Einheit Felmütze. Then we have German. Then we have uh, Reinhard Keller. He still has his helmet. And now I'm going to take you to what this bunker. Now here is where you will notice the di big difference. So we go in here, here, here. Here we have, yeah, I, here we see it. Hans Panzer has it. You may be thinking you should give someone else that, but I won't. Then we have Jürgen Dietrich, he still has that. I was actually planning to give him this, that. Then we have Maximilian Bachmann, still has that. And we have uh, Rammstein Hauptmann, he still has his helmet. And now I'm going to go to the other side. By the way, today my a friend of mine was over here, the incredible laughing duck, and we discussed the uh, countdown idea. Uh, I wanted to learn how to 
edit so that I could edit my own countdown. However, oh, I didn't need to. He's going to uh, edit it himself. So we have Yanshim and G here, still have a uh, one or two helmet. helmet. Jon Shepard still has a helmet. And Paul Mayer still has a helmet. And then we have Nick Nick Price. He still has he has the issue guys on cap. And then we go to the last place, which is a uh, British punk over here. I do believe it's uh, Shannon Shandon who has the has the uh, this red ballot. Yep, it's Shannon Shandon, all right. Ah, <laughs> oh, Shannon Shandon. Then we have Edgar Hamilton. We have. Duncan Churchill and Roger Murphy, they are wearing the British MK helmets. So that is all. Now I'm gonna head back home, back to my time period and uh, end the video. I still haven't figured out what kind of time period I'm going to make. I didn't uh, plan to make uh, like uh, a gangster time period. Although if I'm, there is one problem though. If I'm going to show you, there are Tommy guns. However, it is the one kind that does not have the grip, as you can see. But I can uh, do. do I could uh, probably play with it anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think I can handle it. It's not uh, a biggie. Anyway, time to end the video. I don't know how long this video is, but I think it's, uh, but I bet it's 10 minutes long, maybe longer, I don't know. Maybe I should have asked uh, my friend if we are, we could do a new, uh, new video on uh, how to, a new video on Gmon Murder. But speaking of which, anyway, if you want to see more Minecraft My Laboratory, more Minecraft minigames, more Vaults My Laboratory, more real life videos, more uh, Game of Murder with, Ix uh, with the Incredible Laughing Duck, more uh, Civilization 5 with Xidoria, more uh, Duck Game with Friends, more Elder Scroll 5 Skyrim, more uh, Countdowns. Please leave a like and subscribe, comment, rate whatever you do on YouTube, and I see you all next time.